Good morning, everyone. Let's uh, continue the module four. We have uh, discussed about the uh, introduction part, including the introduction need for I/O interfacing, and we have already discussed about various types of I/O addressing. Now we are moving on to various types of input devices. Uh, this uh, will take uh, to four to five sessions. Uh, we will learn very slowly about uh, each and every device. Uh, as I told you earlier, you can add your own points. Uh, you may study it in your school level um, about uh, such uh, devices. You can uh, include that points uh, inside this material. Uh, so along with this, you can learn uh, from um, other reading materials also. Okay, before we are going to discuss about various devices, let us recall the uh, major functionality of input device. An input device is a piece of hardware used to provide data and uh, control signals to an information processing system such as a computer. So it's a piece of hardware that are used to provide data and control signals to the computer. The most common input devices are the mouse and keyboard. That is very familiar uh, to all of us. But there are many others ranging from general purpose to special purpose devices. Uh, the input devices can be classified using various criteria, uh, such as based on the modality of input, um, example, mechanical motion, audio, vi visual, etc. Based on this, we can classify the input devices. Uh, and we can classify the input devices based on whether the input is discrete or continuous uh, type. Uh, for example, if it is discrete, uh, the example is key process or continuous means a mouse pos based on the mouse position. And uh, the another category is based on the number of degrees of freedom. That is, we have two-dimensional devices, three-dimensional devices, uh, up to six-dimensional devices, 60 devices. And uh, uh, there are another category called pointing devices, which include mouse, touchpad, trackball, etc. And uh, the, we can uh, classify the input devices based on imaging, audio, and video devices. Example, scanner, microphone, digital camera, etc. Uh, so these are the various um, criteria for classifying input devices. Uh, but we will learn some of the most common devices uh, in this particular um, uh, module based on your syllabus. These are the input devices uh, we need to understand about uh, that are keyboard and uh, we have to see the pointing devices such as mouse, joystick, touchpad and uh, trackball, uh, then video digitizer and uh, we all know what is the remote control, uh, then magnetic stripes, digital camera, microphone, sensor, MIDI instruments, that is a musical, inst uh, uh, for the musical instruments, it's a interface for musical instruments. Uh, then scanner, scanners can be of uh, varying types, that is optical character reader, that is OCR, optical mark reader, OMR, barcode reader, magnetic ink card reader, etc. Uh, we will learn each and every one in detail. Here you can see some of the uh, input devices, pictures, uh, keyboard, we all know uh, what is a keyboard. Then pointing device, we have mouse, then uh, we have here joystick, uh, and uh, we have the uh, laptop here that is uh, represented as a microphone. It is having a touchpad, uh, and uh, some of the um, system provide the touch screen also that is also shown here uh, then um, there is a track ball um, which are usually used for gaming and all then video digitizer it is not here but we will learn it uh, later then uh, remote control 
uh, that also very familiar to all of us. Then magnetic stripes. Uh, we know uh, most of the credit and debit cards uh, are available uh, from the bank and uh, it is of type magnetic stripe cards. Uh, then digital camera uh, that is also very familiar to all. Microphone, uh, it can be in any form. Uh, this is one of the kind uh, represented in the speaker. Then sensors, uh, sensors can also be used as input devices and MIDI instruments as I told you, it's an interface for musical instruments. Uh, we will learn it in detail. Then scanner, scanner is also an uh, input device. Uh, it can be uh, based on optical uh, nature or it can be uh, based on the magnetic ink uh, 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 category and uh, it can be uh, either uh, barcode reader. Okay, this will be discussed in these uh, coming uh, presentations. This particular presentation will cover only two devices that are keyboard and mouse. Here, keyboard is the most common and very popular input device which helps to input data to the computer. The layout uh, is like a uh, traditional uh, types, uh, typewriter, uh, uh, but it is having some additional keys uh, which uh, can be used to perform additional functions. Uh, keyboards are of two sizes, um, 84 keys or 101 or 102 keys, but now keyboards with 104 keys or 108 keys are also available for Windows and Internet. Uh, the keys in a uh, keyboard uh, can be of varying types. Uh, first one is typing keys. Uh, these include letters key, letter keys A to Z and uh, digit keys 0 to 9, which generally give the same layout as that of typewriters. And uh, some keyboard uh, provides separate numeric keypad uh, used to enter the numeric data or cursor movement generally consists of uh, a set of 17 keys that are laid out in the same configuration used by most adding machines and uh, calculations. So if we are uh, using uh, such a, an application, um, for example, uh, for billing and all, we can have this numeric keypad, it will be very helpful. And uh, uh, we have function keys. Uh, there are. Uh, 12 function keys present on the keyboard uh, and it is arranged in the top row. We can see F1, F2, F3, etc. Uh, these are called function keys. Each key has a unique meaning and is used for some specific purpose. And we have control keys. Uh, these provide cursor and screen control. It includes four directional key arrow keys. Uh, control keys also include home, end, insert, delete, page up, page down, control, then alternate, escape, etc. Uh, and uh, we may have some special purpose keys um, including the enter, shift, uh, caps lock, num lock, space bar, tab and print screen. These are uh, considered as the special purpose keys. Next very popular input device is the mouse. Uh, it's a type of uh, pointing device and it is the most popular pointing device. Very famous cursor control device having a small palm sized box with a round ball at its base which senses the movement of the mouse and sends corresponding signals to the CPU when the mouse buttons are pressed. Generally it has two buttons called the left and right button and a wheel is present between the buttons. A mouse can be used to control the position of the cursor on the screen but it cannot be used to enter text into the computer. So this is a pointing device which can be used to point out uh, the position in the uh, screen. So we have two functions uh, using the left button and right button and we may have the uh, scroll button uh, between this um, to scroll down and uh, uh, scroll up. Uh, so um, it is 
doing with the help of a wheel. Uh, so this is uh, uh, about mouse. Uh, these are some advantages of using mouse. Uh, we can uh, easy to use. Uh, we can use the, this uh, particular mouse in an easy manner. Then uh, it is not very expensive. Uh, it moves the cursor uh, faster than the arrow keys of the keyboard. So these are the advantages of using mouse. But uh, without mouse also we can do all these. But uh, if we are using a separate mouse for all these purpose, it will be more easier uh, for the user. Thank you all. Uh, you have to remember some points regarding these devices. There is nothing to understand much and uh, you need not uh, worry about the working of each and every device. You just um, understand these points and uh, you have to uh, remember these points. Uh, but uh, So don't make it uh, pending. Um, after each and every class, you try to um, prepare your um, lessons, then only it will be easier for you. This is not a tough uh, module, but uh, you may feel dry. That's why I am asking uh, you to study in a systematic manner.